Hello, Nova family. Simeon Lorman here with the Mission Advancement team. I am so excited to be joined on this conversation by my friend Lee Price, who's calling in from Amarillo, Texas, uh, where he lives and ministers. He's there with his family. Uh, Lee's a part of our leadership team within Novo, um, our gospel movement leadership team. And I've invited Lee to, to share a little bit uh, from his heart and also from his experience with how we're seeing God at work across the United States, what is happening here in our nation that we're celebrating and the things that we have actually shared with all of you in our annual ministry report. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, share with you guys just a couple of insights of what is in the report about the United States. And then Lee's going to explore this with us in a little bit more detail. So this is one page. It's just an inset. It's a regional focus on the United States as part of our 2023 annual ministry report. And when I look at this and I, and I just rec recognize what God is doing, um, you know, in these numbers, it's, it's truly humbling, truly amazing. You know, what, what we've called out here in a couple of places, for instance, in Kansas City, where we're seeing hundreds of everyday disciple makers begin to lead micro churches in their own homes, that homes are becoming places of encounter with God all across that city. Um, and it's remarkable, and it's only growing and multiplying. We also have given testimony to the, the trainings that are happening where thousands of people are being empowered and equipped and sent as workers into the harvest. And so we've got data here about the United States in terms of the, ways our, the way our staff is engaged in prayer, the people that are being trained to discern their call to mission, and new churches that are cropping up. And so I just want to invite Lee to kind of speak in from his experience you know, beyond the numbers into what he's seeing, both, you know, testimonies and stories and things like that, as well as how you guys can join us in partnering for God to be at work and how we can be praying for more of what we've already witnessed and testified to. So Lee, the floor is yours, man. I'd love to hear uh, what's on your heart. Yeah. Thanks, Simeon. I'm excited to just share a little bit about what God's been doing in the West. And, you know, when we just looked at that picture, one of the things that gets me uh, so excited is the guy that's baptizing Terry in that picture was a guy that I um, got to disciple and his name's Joe. And he's just a, he's an everyday believer. He's a plumber by trade, but uh, has just fallen in love with Jesus. And he's a great, that picture is just a great example of what we're seeing in the West where, where we're just coming uh, alongside everyday believers and we're mobilizing them. We're activating them with prayer with equipping, with some basic things that they need to see uh, Christ and the kingdom come in the places where they work and they live and they play. And so I think more than anything, just seeing that picture gets me excited because that's one of the highlights of what God's doing. You know, we've got teams spread all across the West, both in the United States and Europe. And all across those teams, all of our, our we hear the same themes over and over again. And one of those is just they're everyday practitioners that are living it out. And then they're coming alongside others, other believers that want to live it out. And they're simply just walking with them to see it happen, to see the kingdom come in the places where they are every day. I think another stat that, you know, has gotten me excited has been, yeah, we've seen a number of, uh, of discovery Bible study groups that start off of these relationships. So literally hundreds of these discovery Bible study groups that start. And then even off of those discovery of Bible study groups, as people begin to follow Jesus, we see a new spiritual families form. We see little micro churches, extended spiritual families that just form off of these discovery of Bible studies. And we've seen over a hundred of those um, as well this past year. So we're just, yeah, we're just praising God for the ways he's working and um, celebrating it more than anything. That's awesome. Well, and as you think about, you know, in addition to the celebration, how, how can we join God's work in partner in prayer? What are the things that maybe are obstacles or, you know, as we as a Novo family can come alongside it and just uh, intercede for, you know, and pray for? What, what, what would you say? One of the big prayer requests that we continually put before us is what we call the Luke 10 to be prayer. And it's where Jesus uh, is sending out uh, the 72 into the harvest. But before he sends them out, he tells them that the fields are ripe. They're, they're white for harvest. But uh, the main thing that we need to do first is we need to ask the Lord, the harvest master, for laborers for the harvest. So the Luke 10 to be prayer is simply just praying. We, we like to set our alarms every day at 10.02. 
So they go off on our phones and we just pray every day for God to raise up labors. And it's an interesting prayer because Jesus doesn't give us very many prayers where he promises if we pray that prayer, he's going to answer that prayer. Mm -hmm. And so we've learned if we can just start praying every day for labors in our schools, labors in our workplace, labors in our neighborhoods, the places that we go and play. These are the things that we need to be praying for every day. So I would say that's the first thing is just asking in a call to pray for labors. The second thing is, is I feel like there's a cost to this. I mean, as we begin to step out and surrender our lives to go make disciples that make disciples, oftentimes there's a shift that has to happen in our time and the way we yeah, just the way we live our lives. And so it, we we can't compartmentalize things. So the prayer request with that is just that people we've got we've got literally right now thousands of people across the West that are stepping into this, but it's it's costing them something as they take that step of obedience. They're having to shift something in their life. It could be time, focus, all that, and just praying that they could continue to take those steps of obedience as they make mm -hmm. those shifts. That's a big, um, I feel like it's a big sticking point too, maybe a barrier for us um, in continuing to move this direction. And so just praying that people can, yeah, continue to follow the Lord's lead and be obedient to the things he's saying, even though there may be a, a cost and a change in their lives. Yeah, that's so good. And yeah, it does, it doesn't come easy for sure. You know, sometimes the ground is is ripe for the harvest. And sometimes there's a lot more uh, toil that comes with it and work and endeavor and the life change too, right? You know, as you talk about everyday practitioners, these are people that are not, you know, career missionaries or, you know, they, they haven't raised support to be full-time. They're they're in the work workplace. And then they're also endeavoring to, to be missional in those spaces and create, you know, environments where God can be at work in, you know, the break room in their own home you know, at the soccer field, in all of these di different environments. Um, and we love to celebrate that. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're listening to this, if you hear that invitation from Lee to pray, we would really uh, love for you to even take that practical step of setting an alarm on your phone uh, to partner with us in praying for, uh, for that work, that God would release more uh, laborers into the harvest. And also, if, if you want to read more some of these stories on Nova's website, nova.org, Right now, featured, there's a banner. You can get right to our annual ministry report. It's actually a flip book on our website. So you can flip through it. You can see the highlight on the United States, but all the regions around the world that have been uh, called out and focused on um, how God is at work in different environments um, that have different needs and different opportunities for the kingdom. And there's also blogs attached to those. So more stories that kind of unpack you know, the story behind the numbers and help you understand a little bit about, about what's going on. And so... Uh, thank you, Lee, for joining us. Um, and uh, thank you to all of you, our Nova family, that have been incredible supporters and partners with us in this work. None of this is possible uh, without linking arms and collaborating together with all of you uh, for the kingdom. And so blessings to you guys. We hope you will check out more of the ministry report um, and continue to join us in prayer.